Hi everyone, welcome back to my art channel. My name is Chris and for today's video I have something a little bit different. As you can see, I have a kiln right here. So just to give you a little bit of background, I used to be in love with ceramics, I still am, but that was before I started to do more watercolor and pre-making and do uh, 2D art. So around 2013 to 2018 that's when i was like really doing ceramics especially ceramic sculpture and i actually went to a college that had a really good ceramic department but then around 2019 and then at the beginning of the pandemic i started to do more watercolor and print making and to uh, more 2d media but i want to get back into ceramics because i have some projects in mind so if you Want to know a little bit more about that stay tuned and i had a lot of bisware that i needed to fire so i decided to do a firing and this is the today's video i'm going to unload my kiln this is a scud kiln that i bought about two years ago so pretty much my ceramic studio is in the garage hence why you see all the background in here i do have a potter's wheel i do have an extruder i have clay and of course I have my kiln. I am excited to get back into ceramics because my goal is to actually start selling some ceramic palettes as well as cups and plates. Um, and like I said, I'm just excited and hopefully, I know the lighting is not that good and probably the sound is not that good either, but I really want you to experience this with me because this is the first firing in over almost two years i want to say my last firing was yeah in 2020 i think may 2020 or somewhere around there so i haven't done another firing until now um so if you like this if you like to get a little bit more of my ceramics content as well as my watercolor and other 2d media content please follow me please like and subscribe i would really appreciate it and let's go see what i how the pieces came out of the kiln. Hopefully we have no casualties and everything out and everything came out perfect. Okay, now let's see how things came out. And at fe first glance, there seems to be no casualties. Everything seems to be good and fine. So let me pull my little cards over. So some of the stuff is still a little bit warm so i'm going to go get my gloves these are some gloves that are designed to um unload counts there are some that are more um that are for higher temperatures but these are perfect for right now so let's see look at this i made this little girl like two three years ago and i barely fire it so it's one of my last sculptures I have done so far. I have a couple cups here. Some textiles that I'm using some bisque um now some um what's it called oh my goodness what is that called what i use these are uh watercolor underglazes and i'm trying to experiment and see what i could do with them hopefully i'm able to paint something now this guy this is a prototype for some of the ceramic palettes that i want to be working on and i believe this was made actually of porcelain uh, but i'm going to try other clay bodies so we have a couple mugs in here okay actually if you want to see the process of me loading the kiln and actually me throwing i recommend you go follow me on pinterest 
I have exclusive content that I post in there and I'm going to put my information here on the screen and down below for you to see. Here are some bowls. All of them came out actually pretty nice. So I was a little scared that the kiln was not going to work properly because like I said I haven't fired it in since 2020 but it actually came out good. Let me see. I hate this gloves. Yeah, it's a little warm still. So we are going to try to do our best to lift this up. Okay. Okay, we're almost done. A couple more things. More mugs. Hopefully. I'm able to have some of this done by Valentine's Day and give it to some of my co-workers. Let me see. And more mugs. Now this one I'm a little excited about. I use underglazes and then I did graffito, so pretty much I scratch the clay to make this design. So I'm really excited to see how it's going to turn out. I really love turquoise blue colors, especially on ceramic. So hopefully this comes out really good. Now I have this little bowl. This one I was thinking of using it to make um, uh, watercolor washes. Put a little bit of watercolor and do a lot of like water to make it into a nice wash. But we'll see if that works out. Sorry if you could hear the dog. And here's another tiny one too. I didn't notice that they still had the pricing here. <laughs> so this is everything that came out of the kiln. I'm so excited that my sculpture didn't break. Um, it shouldn't have broken because it was sitting there drying for about two years. And I'm also excited about the cup and about the watercolor palette that I'm working on, the little prototype. So overall it was a very successful base firing. Nothing seemed to crack too much or break except for some pieces that were already like this so if we i don't know if you could see here this guy was already um coming off a little bit but this could be fixed once we glaze so let me know what you are excited about and if you like this video and if you like to see more ceramic content from me uh this is a little glimpse of my ceramic studio my wheel so let me know if you'd be interested in a studio tour like i said this is in my garage so it's not the best lighting and hopefully the audio sounds okay uh, hopefully you can follow me to see the glaze process and we do uh, and to do the glaze, the glaze firing and like i said if you like this content please let me know if you want to see more ceramic content please let me know i'll be happy to do that for you if you like this video please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye